In this presentation, we are going to look at Carnot maps to simplify a, an expression such as this. So we have an expression E here, and what we are going to do, I've just gone too far there for a second. Uh, we have an expression E there, and what we're going to do is use Carnot maps to sort of simplify that expression. E there is made up of seven terms. And essentially what we want to do is come up with a much shorter way of expressing E. So what we're going to do is use the Carnot map. So a overline, uh, over a line over it uh, means that we have uh, a negative state. So it's not A, not B. Okay. Now just as sort of a typography uh, thing that they have uh, joined um the overlines to each um of the so it's a, just treat them as separately there's no particular read there it's just a sort of a there's no particular reason why they are joined together it's a, in fact it's preferable it will be preferable if they were not but there we go so just treat them as they are as if they were different so not a not b uh C and D. So let's put a 0 and a 0 there and a 1 and a 1 there and let's write in the correct in a 1, uh, a one in the corresponding location. So there's a 1 there. This is a 0, a 1, a 0, a 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0. Put a 1 in there. A 0, a 1, a 0, a 1. 1 in there. A zero, a one, a one, and a one, a one in there. Zero, one, uh, one, zero, and a one in there. A, a, B, zero, sorry, one. Let's start that again. A one, one, zero, zero. That one in there. One one zero one, that one in there. So that's our seven terms. So I'm just going to put in zeros everywhere else. Zero 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 zero. Okay. So what we're going to do is try and uh, to consolidate, uh, come up with expressions, uh, an expression that would uh, properly represent the. Um, the, the input we have in our Carnot map. So what I'm looking at in particular is, I'm going to move on to the next slide actually. What I'm looking at in particular is uh, three regions. And we have this region here. We have this region here. And we have this region here. Essentially what we're trying to do is come up with a way uh, that minimally um, captures all of the positives, all of the ones, um, in as few states as possible. And we try to use the largest sort of uh, areas we can, rectangular areas or uh, square areas. So this red area here, what is this? Well, how can we describe this? Well, two things about it are, as uh, we could sort of say are, what do they have in common? Well, look, look at the A, B uh, settings. It's A is positive here, A is po or sorry, B is positive here, and B is positive here. C is negative, is a not, not C, in, uh, with reference to both of the columns. So how how does that help us? Well, we can actually express the red region as simply as we can express it as B not C. This green region here, uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. This is uh, not A and B, okay? This is a, by the way, this is just a sort of uh, state which is on the, uh, which the columns refer to. So it's actually not, nothing, not reference to this. This is actually not a, 
not be that column. So this green area here is not a B, okay? And what about this uh, pink area over here? Well, we don't really have that much of a way of describing it. It is, this here is C and D, but that would describe the whole column. So what describes only the top half of the column? Not A, C, D. So we can exp essentially what we can do is describe the area as E equals B, not C, plus not A, B, plus not A, C, D. And that answers the question. So that ends our presentation.